he really loved his job. He loved being outdoors. And he was a good fisherman, really a good fisherman. Looking through the pictures. I love this one. Um, this is um, he and his brother on, um, in Duluth in the sand. At and Park just, Point. Park Point, just having fun. You see the love they have for their family. Surrounding his kids and his wife with support and, and love and um, trying to make their life, you know, as it, as good as it can be. But just under the surface, their grief is hiding. He had a beautiful smile and uh, great blue eyes. Dave and Kathy lost that smile and great blue eyes the morning of October 1st. Mitch and co-worker Zach Gamash were on the job for Carleton County, driving a work truck on Highway 210. They were both killed when an oncoming car crossed the center line. These are Mitch's two children, Jordan and Lily. According to the criminal complaint, the driver and passenger in the other car were returning from a methadone clinic in Brainerd. The complaint says the driver showed signs of controlled substance impairment. It says a bottle of methadone was found at the scene along with a needle and syringe. The complaint also says the driver had needle marks on her arms. She's been charged with two counts of vehicular homicide. This is when Lily was born. He was so excited to have a, a little girl to go along with her. Um, Jordan. So that's a proud father in the hospital. As hard as it is to talk about losing Mitch, they know it's the only way to move forward. How do they know this? Because the Lindgrens have lost a child before. Nick died at um, age um, five, just after his fifth ber birthday in 1980 of a brain tumor. Uh, he was our oldest. Mitch, Mitch was our youngest. Emotions so palpable and yet made even more complicated by questions now surfacing about methadone. Questions not just from grieving parents. Virtually everything was like, you've gotta be kidding me. Really, this can't be true, oh it is true. This is a huge problem in this state and seems to be a bigger problem in this state than, uh, than other states. Red flags were already being raised about methadone even before the accident. Duluth's Lake Superior Treatment Center had its license revoked this fall after the state found numerous and repeated violations, including excessive counselor caseloads, not monitoring take-home doses, and failing to adequately document treatment and procedures. The center has appealed the revocation and is still operating while its case is being reviewed. The clinics in Duluth and Brainerd are among 15 methadone treatment centers across Minnesota. It costs taxpayers over seven $7 million every year for all these clinics to operate in the state. We've spent roughly $45 million the state of Minnesota from 2005 through 2011, the last six years, for folks who don't have insurance that covers this treatment. That's a lot of money, you know. While methadone treatment and programs are now getting a lot of scrutiny by local and state officials, families like the Lindgrens are just trying to make sense of what happened. And, and as far as the issues surrounding the accident, I guess we have a lot of questions. We don't have any answers. I, um, just lots of questions. As Dave and Kathy gaze out on the yard Mitch played in as a little boy, questions linger. Hopefully some of those questions will be answered over time, but um, it's just, uh, you know, it won't bring Mitch back, and um, we just have to live with that, with the hole in our lives.